Hi everyone. How are you all today my friends? Today we are going to solve this. This amazing question which says you have 5 to the power of 5 times 4 to the power of 7. So you have to calculate it without using a calculator. So before writing it down, how should we do it? How to do this kind of questions in general? If you get this kind of questions in general, let's see. There are two steps to do this question. The first step, if you notice or if you pay attention, there are two bases here. The first base is 5 and the second base is 4. So my question is, <clears throat> is there any relationship between 5 and 4 between them maybe not but maybe but we think that 5 times 4 is 20 it's a very nice number so it's little useful because 20 is 2 times 10 right there's a little relationship between 5 and 4 and now pay attention to the exponent 7 so what you have to notice here that the 7 and 5 are they related to each other these two exponents 7 and 5 5 and 4 7 can be written as uh, the difference between 7 and 5 is 2 so we can write 7 as 5 plus 2 isn't it you can separate 5 from 7 so let's do it in this way there are two steps what we have to do. We have to separate 7 from 5 and we have to form a relationship between 5 and 4. So let's start with the first step. So let's solve it happily. The first step is you need to write it back 5 times 5, uh, 5 to the power of 5 times 4 to the power of 7. Now I'm going to break down 7 in terms of 5 and 2. That's the first step what we're going to do. 5 to the power of 5 times 4 to the power of 5 plus 2 right now now as you can see 4 to the power of 5 plus 2 is in terms of a formula that's if you know the laws a to the power of b plus c is equal to a to the power of b times a to the power of c so you can write it like this <clears throat> let's write it down so 5 to the power of 5 times so a is 4 b is 5 c is 2 so a to the power of b 4 to the power of 5 so I'm going to write that 4 to the power of 5 times a to the power of c 4 to the power of 2 now what can we do <clears throat> now you have to pay attention you have same exponents 5 and 5 here so when you have same exponents, you can use another formula. What's that? If you have something like this, a to the power of b times c to the power of b. You have something like this with same exponents, different numbers. It's equal to a times c whole to the power of b. You can write it like this. So let's write it. So you have 5 times 4 whole to the power of 5 times 4 squared now 4 squared can be written as 2 square whole squared 2 square is 4 and you have another squared okay so we are going to write it as so 5 times 4 that's 4 squared so I can write it as 2 squared whole squared all right now 5 times 4 is 20 20 raised to 5 times I'll, I'll keep it as at least 2 square whole square why because I need to form a relationship between 20 and 2 now 20 can be written as 10 times 2 whole to the power of 5 and this as we have already converted 4 square is 2 square so I'm going to write that 2 square whole square now again you can use the same formula here 
a into c whole to the power of b can be split into a to the power of b times c to the power of b so we can write it as 10 to the power of 5 into 2 to the power of 5 times 2 squared whole squared 2 times 2 is 4 so you have 2 to the power of 4 all right now what do we do here in this step multiply these two together you have same basis so what happens to the powers they get added up this formula same base different powers you add the powers so you have 10 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 9 and now let's solve it here you have a very big base 10 to the power of 5 is a very big number so and now here 2 to the power of 9 is how much 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 that gives you 512 now writing this in terms of scientific notation how can you write it write it as 5.12 times what happens to the power you have moved two digits more so that will get added up to the power 10 to the power of 5 plus 2 7 so that's how you got your answer so if you have any doubts or any suggestions you can write it in the comment box thank you so much for joining don't forget to subscribe bye bye take care